um, Elder Lopez, sakto ba nga nag-start na sila og, sa ilang module, nag-start na sila sa ilang process of matriculation? Oo, uh, Elder. Sa starting week 2, di ba? Oo. Uh -uh. Okay, so. And then right now is week 7 or week 8 na ron? Week 10. Ah, week 10. Okay, so um, we are expecting na they are already fixed with their decision to really if they want to matriculate or if they will not continue or if they need additional help from the missionaries or if they have questions. So maybe uh, we can now determine if the student will really pursue uh, the degree online, whether they will continue studying in BYU Idaho or in Sign College, or maybe those who can afford to enroll in BYU Hawaii on campus. So um, I think that uh, this week uh, we will know and understand if the student is can um, confirm to matriculate. So Sainyuha Elder, uh, what do you think? Uh, Elder and Sister Lopez, Sainyuhang student. Uh, did you did you get my Excel file that I uh, submit dito sa atong GC sa zone zone leader na nai link? Wala pa na check order. Na check niyo to? Wala pa. Wala niyo na check. Um, pwede na ako show karon. Pero before na mag start, uh, we will pray. Ako lang mag open sa prayer. Okay. Sige. Our Heavenly Father, we humbly bow our head before thee. We are grateful for this um, wonderful evening that has given us. And together with Elder and Sister Lopez for their presence. And then we will be, we will be able to conduct training for matriculation process. May that will bless us with thy spirit that we may be able to discuss and talk about any concern and then finding for any solution so that we may be able to help our students pursuing their degree application and then go through with the matriculation process. May that will bless us, Heavenly Father, continually with thy spirit that we may be guided and directed and be able to receive guidance and that we may able to magnify our calling. And bless Elder and Sister Lopez that they will receive inspiration and direction that will, they may be able to share their difficulties and then um, problems in uh, encountering those students in PC 103 that we may be able to find solution for that specific student. Well, give us the strength continually, Heavenly Father, to do our duties and responsibilities. This is our prayer. We humbly ask and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, ako to ako show sa inyo ha katong link kung asa to siya para makita ninyo na yung students niya um Nakita ninyo, Elder Sister Lopez? Yes. Yes, Elder. Okay. Mauni ang, mauni ang latest nga ato ang record nga gihatag ni Elder and Sister Coxon. So we will just be focusing sa inyong assignment. Uh, and ano na to inyong is
So, kailaman mo no sa inyo ang students? Yes, elder. Ang iyong students kay usa, duha, tulo, upat, lima. Unom ra. Correct ni? O, unom na lang. Unom na lang. Gamay na lang sila. Okay. Gamay na lang sila. Murag ng ng anang uban wali pa dayon so so taga bakolod ni sila oh so, ni inyo hang record and then we will see kung unsa ilahang update para specifically ma tabangan nato sila kung asa na sila dapit so sa ilahang matriculation process is kani na diri sa endorsement kani kani akong gi-click so ang nakahuman ra sa process of matriculation si Art Arthur in Cabora uban ka wala pa di ay oh ang ang naay ni suway og um process sa matriculation si Christian Dave Saranillas I try siya o apply sa process pero incomplete ang yung endorsement meaning anay na hold sa bishop or na hold sa stake president ang yung application or wala siya wala pa siya ma-interview sa bishop or wala pa siya ma-interview sa stake president so kana siya and then ang upat Kaning upat si Audrey, si Helaman, si Vincent, si Terry Jane kay wala sila gibuhat. Wala sila nagtry og apply. Wala sila nagtry og matriculate. So, mo na status sa imong unom ka student. Duha ra ang mitry. So, maybe uh, mag-meet mo sa inyuhang in your hang gathering and then you can talk to them na uh, what is the problem uh, why they didn't try nice. to apply. then you can ask si saranilias na why his application is still incomplete so ingon ana onya si arthur in cabo na complete ang yang matriculation pero dili siya na enroll sa asa siya nag-apply kay napa siya utang wala niya bayari so dili maka maka proceed uh, wherever sa like inside or sa BYUI if ah, kay utang dapat i settle sa iyang prop yang utang so ingon ana so currently mao na ang ang, ang Uh, situation sa inyong student unong kabuo. So, ang usaray, ang usaray ni complete pero wala naka-proceed kay wala, gidenied siya. Gitagaan siya o kanang kanang accept, accept the offer ba? Gitagaan siya accept the offer pero ang nakasulti dito nag-accept niya pero na-deny siya kay pagtanaw sa yahang portal on hold ang yang account kay na siya utang so mo na ang case ni Arthur in Cabo si Christian Dave Saranillas kay ipalo up lang ni mo siya na na istorya na ba niya ang bishop or ang stake president o kanang na interview na ba siya kay usually sa incomplete in the process of interviewing man sila sa bishop o sa stake president So kung walay approve ang bishop or stake president mahog ang yang application as incomplete. So ingon ana. Ya kaning upat, kaning upat nga wala gyud blank gyud so meaning wala gyud sila nag-apply. So pwede sa inyo ha, pwede ninyo sila ma-inquire nga uh, what are the problems why they did not try to matriculate in the application process. So okay lang Elder and Sister Lopez. Kanisha, ako ni hatag ninyo later. Kaning inyo hang kani inyo tagata mo kapian. So um 
aware mo sa Wednesday, di ba? Aware ah. mo sa Wednesday na I'm one hitheri nga mga hmm. researcher or mag-interview regarding sa mga students sa pathway. So, muta na sila sa inyo ha kung uh, what are the reasons why the students they, they, they did not matriculate or what are the problems why the student uh, the process is still incomplete so na mga question ana then they will try to kanang uh, get the information and then try to give kanang solutions on how to help the students who are struggling in the process of matriculation. So, Anna, and then before we proceed, do you have any question about it? Okay, so we will continue our, our training. So I will um, show, show you my slides. Um, Speculation. Dina man ang internet. Um, okay, Manisha, nakita ninyo ang slides? Yes, Heather. Okay. Nawala lagi. Screen share ya. Stop sharing it. Close. Um, no, wala man. Okay, so hey, in the internet. So, ako lagi close sa siguro ang camera. Or okay na? Okay, Raelder. Na makusog. So, so, okay ra. So, na kinadungog ra. O, dili, dili ko na ko ang camera. Dili man makabother sa inyo, ha? Di naman. Ah, okay. So, ni, ni, ni Karat man good siya. Glitch, Elder. Ni glitch. Ni glitch yung mong camera, oh, Elder. Glitch no, maana ba? So, ako na lang i-close. Okay ra? Okay, okay, Elder. 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 Uh, sige. So, this is camera. Okay. Okay, so nakita ninyo ang slide? Yes. Okay, so kaning a slide, this is the Philippines area for Visayas matriculation process, troubleshooting, and reports. So uh, this training is for the pathway missionary. The objective is to equip every missionary in helping students focus on completion so they matriculate and earn a degree. So one of the key role of our pathway missionaries is to really um, help the students to complete pathway um, semesters. Okay, not like PC 101, PC 102, Konya. 
PC-103 and the first certificate. Sometimes we encounter um, students na they thought they, they complete the pathway because uh, pasar na sila tanan. Meaning they completed the kanang the PC-101, PC-102, PC-103 and the certificate. But always remember Ang passing grade is three, average three or B or above. So if mo lower gani is two point something, two point ninety seven or two point ninety, dili na siya pasar. I retake na niya kanang subject. Daghang daghang ko. Tengah aku student na nangutana sa aku ana nganung dili siya maka matriculate kita nao na ko yang grade na ada siya B minus na ada siya 2.97 so 3 points na lang yun para mo 3 wag yun siya ka matriculate wa siya ka pasar so ingun ana so there is a, a average grade that the student should maintain PC one o PC one o one. They should get the grade of three or above. Yeah, PC one o two the same. Grade of three or above. PC one o two first certificate three point zero above. Anak gigit. Yeah, na na uban mo anak sila na ay elder. Daku mangko grade sa PC one o one. Dili de siya pwede i-plus niya, i-divide to. Uh, dili man siya pwede kay cumulative man siya. So, this should pass each subject, each course. Sa PC-101, this should pass 3 above. PC-102, 3 above. PC-103, 3 above. First certificate, 3 above. So, I hope na inyuha siyang na na understand kana siya nga uh, uh, requirements kay daghan jud student na nibalik sila ba nag nag, nag ask sila question nganong di sila ka matriculate is it because na problem sa ilang grades okay so do you have question with that i'm an elder clear clear okay so we will proceed so next nga slide. So section one is the matriculation process. So application deadline. Next nga application is priority deadline is March 1. So we know na by priority deadline meaning they can avail a discount if they are in the priority deadline but they can still enroll until the start of the with whatever semester is that whether it it carol kay mag start man ta sa april sa spring spring semester so spring semester the priority deadline will end katong pag march 1 <coughs> so ang final deadline is on april pero nakuy na na dawat nga message nga pwede pa daw makapainrol until March 23 sa priority deadline. So, I, I don't know if it is uh, it is true na if the student can enroll in March 23, they can still avail sa 10% discount o sa Heber J Grant. Uh, I hope nga pwede pa. So, ingun ana. So, that would be our um um, enrollment. Makita na to ang difference sa priority deadline o sa final deadline. Okay? So we we as a pathway missionary, we are trying to help our students that hopefully they will enroll in the priority deadline. So in that way, uh, Matabangan na ito sila na maka-avail sa ilahang discount. Okay. So if you have any questions, so pwede ra 
you can ask me directly. Okay, next slide. Our goal as a full-time as a pathway missionary is to help our student <coughs> apply in the priority deadline. Okay. And then we are now in the process of matriculation. There are seven. So seven process if the student would like to matriculate. First is canning term and condition. And then second, personal information. Third is the applicant type. And then fourth is the background. And fifth is the educational history. And six is account linking. And then seven is the endorsement process. So canning usually the student will find it difficult when they are in process number five. Because there are questions there na, are you a high school graduate? And then makita nila dito na, yes, I'm a high school graduate. Ilang i-check, pero basla kabalo na, are you a high school graduate within United States? So meaning, ang ilang question dito sa United States, dili sa Pilipinas. So dili na to i-check yo, dili to na to i-check. Ino lang to na to gyapo kay di man ta within the boundaries sa United States. Usually, ila itong i-check, marong sila dito. So, mubalik ang ilang process. Muna nga, kung na student, pwede ninyo sila i-guide na kung naaan ang question, ino lang, ino lang nila para dili mubalik ilang application. So, nag-release o mic, uh, na may question? Ah, wala. Ako an elder ka tong mag-apply na ko sa ano ba? Regulation kay ako ra na ginaw. Oh, dapat on Mayo. Mo nang wala ni balik. And then second problem nila kaning account linking. Maglisod ang student kanang unsaon nila pag-link sila account. <laughs> Usay mo directly sila dito sa BYUI nga pwede ra man sa ang gamito na to is katong church account na to. Dili na ta kinahanglan mo himo og account para mo link sa BYUI. We should we, we will just click the church account and then sila na bahala mo link ana sa pathway ngadto sa BYUI. So daghan gihapon, daghan kayong student na niungot sila. They are stuck in account linking because they are trying to make another account. So na na but the choices is very easy. They will just choose the church account. Okay. And then, sa number seven, usually, daghanjud kayo ang na fail the redapit uh, regarding worthiness, regarding kanang activity, kanang active ba siya sa church. Kunya, na may leader nga, specific kay nga, uy, wamang kay simbahay, wamang kay simba. So, wala gi permahan ang iyahang application process so sakit sakit paminawon ba nga na ni hilak sa ko ang uh, ako ang ko na nana siya nga elder sa so, amin ako nga I, I really want to pursue my degree pero the bishop did not sign my application because I am not actively involved in that church kwan ra tugit kwan ra gito siya di man to ingo nga act uh, inactive siya nga disobedient siya inactive siya tungod sa yang work na siya work sunday kunya di lang siya makasimba pero pero faithful good siya good kunya wa permahi sa bishop kay wa lagi simba simba so sometimes ing una na ay na ay cases nga ang bishop very strict kunya i don't know ako nang gisumbong dito sa matriculation specialist ana sila nga we do not hold the bishop. Bishop has their own decision making. Yeah, nasla ilang own nga uh, inspiration. So, wala tay mahimo. Nga ana jud ang mahitabo. So, uh, mauna siya ang uh, mauna siya ang process sa matriculation. Makita ninyo diri sa taas kanang blue, kanang direct link nadra degree application dot pyupathway dot org 
So, ilalang ng i-type. Type it. And then, uh, it will directly put them in the process of matriculation. Kani siya, ma-appear sa ilang screen. So, ingon ana. So, okay. Um, kani siya, 1 to 7, it will appear uh, dito sa Excel. So, katong Excel nga akong ipakita kani. Kaning Excel, nani siya dire, mo-appear. Kita na to dire ang um, uh, dire, application type, application status, account link, background, history. So, we can understand if the student really do the matriculation because it will appear in our um, Excel format. So, nakita na to dari na nag-start na siya matriculate. So, complete and then the determining factor that if the student really um, successfully matriculate na dari ang, ang highlight na dari is if the student is complete, incomplete or blank. So, we can see the decision coming from the BYU Pathway Administration uh, if the student is denied or not because if dili siya denied, nai makasuwad nira na BYUI or BYU or Insign College. So makita nira ang iyahang indication na the student successfully matriculated eh, whether he is in the BYUI or Insign College. So ingon ana. Okay, and then going back sa ito ang uh, slide. So after ano niya, matriculation process, so we will move to another slide. Kanisha. Kanisha PDF. Uh, there is a PDF guide, but the student also can uh, proceed. Typing the byupathway.org on your slash admissions slash application and then dash process. So the student will choose advanced path. Mauni siya advanced gay. Tolo mani na ay preferred path, na ay advanced path, onya na ay returning student. Onya <coughs> ang student is. Um, first time niya nga magmatriculate, so there is siya musulod sa ikaduha sa advanced path. So the student will click. First, he will click the the upside triangle icon. And then, pwede siya siya magkuha o PDF guide kaning optional application guide nga number two. Makita niya dito. Ini click niya ana pani siyang mugawas nga how to begin so the student will be directed by clicking the degree application that byu pathway.org so na there is a obvious kaning how to begin click niya ana uh, uh, mauna to siya katong pagmatriculate nila kani. Muagi na siya ani nga 1 to 7 nga process. And then up to 7, <coughs> inig-approve sa bishop o sa stake president, then there will come a email, na mag-email sa student na would you like to accept the offer? So, i-accept nila ang offer, i-click nila accept the offer, automatically the student will be given a portal, student portal. So, nana siya portal ano. Ikaw man, nana siya portal, pwede na siya maka-register o maka-enroll sa unsang subject nga yan ang piliin. Okay? So, um, Mauna siya ang process sa pag-apply. So, do you have any question?
uh, Elder Sister Lopez, uh, section one about matriculation process? Wala, Elder. Okay, so we will proceed sa section two, troubleshooting and reports. Because <coughs> what are we going to do if the student encountered problems? So there's a lot of problem that the student will encounter onya dili gani ma address sa path the missionary mang luo dayon onya dili naganahan mo pa dayon so i hope na uh, we are so sensitive sa ilahang mga problem at least uh, we can help them motive uh, uh, maintain their motivation ba na to really continue their application for a degree so money says section 2 troubleshooting step 1 mao to akong ipakita ninyo nga excel file na added to sa matriculation data mao man ni siya og ipakita niyo ganina na naadiri makita nato kung say problem sa student para to ganina na nakita nato na na student na incomplete so we can see na the incomplete is in number 7 so na i problem sa bishop or sa stake president regarding their approval. Kanya, when we ask the student what is the problem then they can share it to us so we will understand and then we can also give a report on how to help the student if we can help the student. So, mawin siya ang Excel file. Na dere makita na to na created, submitted, completed, decided. Actually kani siya gi sum up sum up ra man ni Sister Coxon. Pero kato akong gipakita niyo ganina mao gitoy actual nga Excel format. Kita ni mo ang number 1 to 7 <coughs> onya unsa ang decision denied ba siya or accepted ba siya? E kung denied siya, na i-gisulti dito, denied. Kung accepted siya, ma-appear dito ang asa siya na enroll BYUI or inside college. Okay? So, um, step two, kung nakita na to dito, okay rang students, so we can address the problem. <coughs> Another problem is in step two, if trouble or concern arises, um na mga problema in in terms of kanang in the process of matriculation katong 1 to 7 na na siya problema sa process number 5 or number 6 or number 7 so we can uh, go to step 2 monisha abcd daw approach so abcd stands for a is account. So when there is a problem in matriculation, maybe the student uh, has a multiple accounts. So daghan kayo ang estudyante nga na problema ani nga nasre account ang duha tag tulo. So dili sila kabalo ang computer is dili kabalo kung asa gyud siya ana. Then what they did is they delete the other account so that um computer maka recognize uh, uh sometimes the members uh they thought na ang account sa family history is the same with the account of church account so kanisha dapat may baluan sa member na dili sila parihas na member ni reklamo na Elder, di ko matriculate kay wow kabalo nga kung account gigamit, maura man yan. Yan yung account gigamit, family history din nga account. Dili day church account. So naglibog sila. They thought na parihara na nga account. So na ay separate account ang family history. Nasa separate account ang church account. Ang church account, makita ni mo ang account ni mo, tanaw ni mo ang imuhang church profile na asya dito ni mo makitaan kung unsa ang imuhang church account o ang imuhang password naratanan dito. 
So dapat sa BYU pathway, usually ang gigamit sa mga members is the church account. Dili itong family history account. Kaya malibog man sila. So, nga na nga cases, we can help them um, use the church account. And then if there is any problem using the church account, they will go back. Go back sila dito sa ilang profile, ilang i-change dito, ilang account para ma-update nila. Kaya ni Gohman Ana, mubalik sila sa login sa pathway and then i-type to nila ilang account dito sa profile. And then makuha nila nga, kita nila nga, sakto ba siya o dili. So kung okay man siya, so solve na ang problem. So yun na, na ay mga double, uh, multiple account ang student, that's why na problema. Or they are using the family history account. So kan na. And then ang B is the browser. Ang recommended browser nga gigamit sa pathway is ang Chrome. So we will encourage actually it is included in the included in the module na the student will download Google Chrome to have a easy access kunya there's a lot of extension na maka help sa student in pursuing sa yahang mga uh, module. So, actually, for me, it is convenient to really have the Google Google Chrome. Pinakadabi siya nga a browser nga mo help sa student. And then, the third one, the letter C is cash and the cookies. So, student, can, uh, there are problems sa ilahang um, say mo na sila internet or problems silang computer. So maybe na ay problema sa cash and cookies nga kinahangla nila i ila na i-delete, limpiyuhan nila ba ang kanang silang cash. So ingon na. And then sa letter D na ay details na ay mga kinahanglan nga <coughs> fill up ng student kung dili gani masolve ang account niya ya na ay problema sa browser or na ay problema sa kaning cash or cookies nga bisa gi-delete na gilipyuhan na di gihapon ma-access so that's the time na we will uh, use the letter D details natay papil up sa student so moving on ani niya para makita nato na to um, step number three, if the student really don't know what to do, um, despite we are helping the student, um, providing them how to at least solve the problem. So, and then sometimes the student can delete niya masabdan ba kung wala siya makitaan. So we can help the student by setting up the Zoom. So pwede ta mag-Zoom niya, ipakita niya sa ato ah. Kung asa siya dapit galisod. Ah, elder, nako diri dapit asa na ko, say sunod na kong buhaton. <coughs> At least in Zoom, we can see asa na siya dapit, then we can help the student uh, step by step uh, doing the process. So we can help them. Or if you cannot do it, okay, you also have kanang less information about sa matriculation, you can also ask me, kitang tolo ako, <coughs> unya, pathway missionary, unya, ang student, natay Zoom meeting. Zoom para makita na to unsay problema niya. So we can help the student. So, uh, with this problem, we can record the problem atong i-record para ma-record nato 
Pakita na ito na ay problema ang ubang estudyante. So ato kong ipakita ang video. At least makita sa nila kung yun sa nato pagbuhat. So ma ma makatabang ang video para sa mga estudyante nga na ay problem. So ano. Okay. Next is ang um, step 4. If still not solved, then gathering missionaries and students will accomplish the checklist for assisting students. So, usually, kung di good siya ma-solve, listo yung gayo solve, o mauna siya, mag-gimu na taong assessment form, checklist. O, sa yung problem niya, check ka na to, na Nani siya yung form nga assessment nga gigamit. Uh, Mao ni siya. Checklist for assessing student problems. So nate i-check na ito. Nya. Daghan man ni kaayo siya pero we can also still use this one. And then <coughs> we can use another also if what is convenient to us. Para mapadali ang process sa pagtabang sa student. So, another way, aside from checklist for assessing student problem, um, kato siya na ato siya link ng sala to pag fill up. Um, step five is if support did not respond in three days then matriculation specialist will escalate the concern to the home office. So, to avoid kanang discouragement sa student nga magmatriculate, nga mawadaan sila gana ba kay ay, wamay nitabag na ko, uh, nobody kanang who is concerned to help my problem. So, mawadaan sila gana, this lang magpadayon. Usually, kung if we encounter problem with our student, at least three days regular siya, dapat masolve ng problem. So, aside from uh, listing the assessment list to help students' problem, we can also contact the support. Kabantay man ang uh, sa pathway na ay sakilin sa right side, sa bottom right na ay chat na chat support. Pwede ito ninyo i-click katong chat support o niya. Inyong i-question nga, mga na mo nga, sa uh, solution ani nga problem, nga ihatag ninyo ang name sa student para ilang makitaan silang system. So one way na siya, if, if the chat support did not respond after three days, uh, lahi na na siya. Meaning dugay na kayo na siya na wala nila ma-assess uh, ang problem. So we will go directly. You inform me and I will inform the matriculation specialist. And then I will get the name and then submit it to them. Then they will be the one to talk to the home office, Nilani Elder and Sister Coxon about the problem. <coughs> so, Ana. Okay. So, Maunisha ang information. Para sa student, yang email, yang name, para we can get the information and then give it to the home office through the matriculation specialist personnel. Itong matriculation specialist ka rin guys, sila man si Sister Merculeta o si Sister Clemente. <coughs> okay. So, so far, any question, Elder and Sister Lopez? Wala na, Elder. Ang kuwan din na ba? Kuna daw ka ron, okay, Elder. Sa tong kuwan ba? Atong kung support din na sa kilis sa pathway, kuwan na ito daw. Dito mga na daw. Ang kuwan, karon daw ang kuwan sa students kay Permenter na daw. Ilang direct na support. Yes. Oh. Aside from this, nanagyoy mentor. Ang mentor daw nila is Bloom na siya. Bloom. Are, are you familiar with the Bloom? Oh, dira ko nag-work, Elder. Sa ano? Dira ka? Mentor. Dira ka nag-work, Elder Lopez? Oh. 
Magbuhay oh, ayos, so, so, maayos. So, kana. Uh, did you experience helping student who has a problem? Oh, nakatabang na ko. Ah, so, wala na day problem. So, kani siya. Um, kung kung kani lang siya is murag. Dili, dili na ka, pero at least magamit ka po nga process kung dili good kaayo ma <coughs> ma-assess ma sa mentor pero pinaka pinaka fastest ba uh, I'm I'm not sure if kamusta bloom you directly communicate with the home office oh, elder mo sa no ticket tung kuan dili na madang problema so, ah, so meaning direct. kamo na ang mo assess uh -oh. so ana so okay so, thank you so much. Ana nga information, Elder Lopez, na I was thinking mang good na I'm looking for ni Adam, kailangan ni Adam pagdalian. And enrollment, ano? Counselor? Oh, oh, matahan ako niya, taba niya. Wala, wala ko kabalo nga. Ikaw na, nasa na ka sa Bloom. So, good news, good thing na yung Ana, so we can we can really help the student through uh, collaborating with the mentors. So, thank you, Elder um, Lopez. So, next is Sengun Ana. So, mauto siya, ang last na mga, mauto siya na mga Link provided, pero kanisya nga maagi is will be catered to the mentors. Sakto ba siya, Elder Lopez? Sakto. Okay, so good. So, gi, gi, gi less day ang trabaho sa matriculation specialist. Okay, thank you so much. So, um, Sa, as a pathway student, kita, we 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 conducted survey um, to all the PC one o three. We we determine na mga question, so so that we will understand and we will know na uh, what are the situation and the condition uh, why students can uh, the percentage of matriculating ba student kamay jud kayo imo na siya ako na ipakita ninyo katong na ay percentage na nagmatriculate ang student gamay ra jud kayo ang nagmatriculate uh, kita on ba kita na ko sa inyo ang percentage pila ra nagmatriculate at least you will have the idea but discouraging you. Um, but but uh, I think nakita naman ni ninyo katong nag face to face meeting ta dito sa Lahug ay sa Kapitahaw Chapel so tingon ana siya nga case na uh, we can help um, our pathway missionaries ba? how to improve can um, encourage students to matriculate so okay, yes Kita nyo, Elder. So, kanis siya. Kung makita na ito, Derry. Nakita ba ni mo, Elder, ang slide? Oh, Elder. Kaneng na-graph? Uh -huh. So, kita ka ang ang matriculation. Matriculate BYU ID ka ng blue. So taas kay enrollment 2168 pero ang nagmatriculate is 454. 
Gamayra. So, oh, Gamayra din kayo. Discouraging kay siya. Pero, um, that is, that is part of our kanang responsibility na how, <coughs> how can we help? Mauna nga, uh, this coming Wednesday, uh, those administ administrative sa pathway o niya si Brother Joni, they, they really come to really meet the students na what are the problems na nga nung why the student could not matriculate. Although I I I already can hear a lot of stories ba why they, they cannot continue to matriculate or continue to pursue their degree. And then there's a lot of kanang different uh, uh, problems that they encounter. Pero but still um uh, dili lang mawad anong taog paglaom ang mga pathway missionary kay you know say we heard story but then passing by lang murag di kay nato ma feel ba na we really need to help them na what are the things that uh, we can do in order in order to help them actually <laughs> ang mga problem ako na nang gi, gi share din po sa matriculation training na mo specialist sa mong meeting na these are the problem these are the problem and how can we solve the problem how can we connect with the leaders of that church to really see the problems of the students in BYU pathway so i hope ba na nakita sa nato nga under ta sa WSR murag layo bitaw kayo murag layo kita sa ilaha ba i don't know if you feel that na layo kita sa leaders sa mga for every state pero at least naigi buhat atong district nga we can really connect with them and then talk to them about the problems and concern regarding the regarding the students uh, why they cannot matriculate so what are the things that we can help in order for them to continue the process of matriculation and then the endorsement process and then can um, solve their problems so you know, so so far um Elder Lopez, uh, do you have any question? An elder, kwan ba? Di ba nakatawag email an elder sa ano sa batway na ano? Papilio ng permanter o missionary kung asa sila mo padayon. Ah, uh, unsay unsay kwan na niya? Unsay objective? Kwan ba? Di na pwede isabay ang kwan permanter o kwan missionary in calling. Diba, oh, missionary ba? po, guwan, permentor. Magpipili kay permentor, kay mamang ang trabaho. <laughs> so, so last one sa April. Oh. So, ang imong focus, Ani? Permentor na lang. Permentor na lang ka. <clears throat> so, ang imong alignment, asa na kadapit? Sa pathway, Gapon. Sa pathway, Gapon ka, pero... Uh, Pair mentoring ka. Uh, ah, okay. So, mao ba? Si Elder, uh, si Pastor Torres ang nagpana na. Ah, uh, dili, dili si Elder Torres ka pathway just gikan. Sa pathway just, um, para hmm. dili siya makuano, morag. Say reason nila, ganong ginganak nila. Kuan? Well, I mean, kung ba't ang reason ka na yung kuha na napapiliyon ra? Kung asa ka mo ba da yun? Pathway ba or pementor or pementorship ba or missionary? Pero ang meeting nga na is join pa ka na mo sa meeting, missionary, or na mo ay separate meeting? Separate siya. Pero pwede kung matang gaya po to go on, gathering sa ano, mga students. Pwede na ko malid. Okay. So, na-change din yung alignment. Oh. So, pero gi-inform na ni mo si Sister Kapa, si Sister Abilay? Wala pa. 
So I think imo sila in for <laughs> kay this coming April marag mawala na ka sa gathering no. Ang imo is naka makaattend ka gathering pero katong imuhang focus eh, uh, per mentoring. So salamat kayo Elder Lopez sa kanang information at least uh, we can inform them. Pero uh, this coming Wednesday naka Anami, nami sa Wednesday, okay. anami. 12 to 4 me. Ah, morning me. <laughs> Sige. Okay, um mao na siya. We will just proceed sa training kay this training is recorded and then we can share this to the other PC103 missionaries. Kera elder? Kera elder. Okay. Sa so, survey mo to siya na yung mga questionnaires nga ihatag sa student to answer. Murara ni siya Google form na are you planning to matriculate? Ana? So, they will choose whether yes, no, maybe. <coughs> And maybe, kaning maybe, there's a big question na maybe because um I don't know why maybe maybe we can still help the student resolve the maybe convert it into yes naramdun ni sa kanang helping the students um path the missionary gyud ang direct contact sa mga students okay after ani another question if your answer above is yes what are your planning uh, to take So certificate, associate, bachelor's degree, or not planning to take any. So, ang ako ani is, um, uh, even the student will not continue to <coughs> register or to study. At least the student can matriculate, and then when the student is done in matriculating, they will have their portal for one year. So, mona good news. Kamatriculate na gani ang student, the process is successful, then accepting the offer. If the student don't like to continue or proceed sa bachelor's degree, they will not enroll. They will not register. So, the portal will be with them until one year. So, after one year, kung wala gyan siya ma-enroll, mubalik na siya sa process of matriculation. So, yung ana lang. Okay? So next is um survey link will be emailed to the student by the assistant matriculation specialist. So mao na siya na link ihatag. So ingonan. So um I think we are almost done sa to ang training. Um the next ani is section four is roles of the missionaries. Ang roles of missionaries, eh, gihatag nila nga picture is helping each other, mauraman na siya. Ang thoughts ani niya is um, every missionary, if na you 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 have your kanang experience o niya, you, you have this kind of problem, situation, you can share that to your pathway missionaries so that also they can, they will be informed. Onya, if they will have encountered the same problem, so they know how to answer. So each missionary will share their experiences in order for them to solve if there are problems in the future. So the student will be aware of what are the problems that will be encountered in the future. So Anna. So Moni Mugingun uh, Elder Lopez na na pathway support na service missionary, na instructor, niya, na mentor. So, upat yun ang magtabang sa estudyante. There are four uh, different individuals that will help the student to really uh, proceed or to really apply for the matriculation. So, they will, uh, the four individuals will help the student really It at uh, to be encouraged to continue to pursue degree, apply, and go through the process of matriculation. So, Maunisha.
Okay. And then, mauna, mauna na siya um, um, uh, atong training um, Elder Lopez. Um, uh, do you have any question regarding Elder. our training? So, wala na. Wala. Thank you so much, Elder Lopez and Sister Lopez, for your time uh, tonight. Um, uh, we are, I'm so much grateful na at least uh, you attended the training because uh, this um, training is recorded for us to show to the Pathway Missionary PC-103 mga especially mga missionaries who are handling PC-103 that we conducted a training. We, we proceed to our training. So thank you so much for your time and your effort. And then we will close this with the closing prayer. I would like to ask any one of you to volunteer for the closing prayer. Mangana, Elder. Okay, thank you, Elder. Nom, nom, nom. Father in heaven, grateful for your time, able to have this meeting, training of the giveaway. Grateful for the blessings which you needed to serve as other missionaries. Um, grateful for the uh, spirit that we felt. And it's time we ask you to help us, uh, help the students um, and articulate to articulate and uh, things we pray and ask in, in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. See you, Elder and Sister, this Wednesday. Bye. Um, what day, Elder? Kita pa. Classy. Ay, oh, classy. Ayos. Classy. Yeah, Thank you, Kayo, sa yung attendance. I really appreciate your attendance and your sharing in you. Thank you so much. I love you, both of you. Thank you, Elder. Bye. Bye. Bye.